Previously on Mr. F.E., I started Team B's. Just like Mr. Beasts, Team C's, and Team Trees, I bought a bee suit. I traveled to my nearest bee farm. Good morning, clan. This morning we are heading out to Sweet Bee's uh, farm. Learned as much as I could about the bees from Bee Master Keith. He was a huge help. I took a giant bite of a honeycomb and it was delicious. Bee Master Keith gave me a lot of knowledge I needed to know to help save the bees and pollinators and to spread knowledge to you guys so that we can help save the world because without the bees there will be no trees. There will be no oxygen for us to breathe. In this episode, I'll be starting my very first beehive in my own backyard. You will watch me build a brand new beehive from scratch out of a dumpster. Find, capture, and mark my queen. And then last but not least, you guys will witness me split one beehive into two separate beehives. This video took a month to film and several weeks to edit, so please hit that like button and enjoy the show. Bee Master Keith is gonna load it up into the back of the truck and then we're gonna pull out a little bit further because right now there are thousands of bees flying around the truck. I'm gonna give him two of these Team Bees shirts. We are back at the house, guys. The bees are in the back of the truck. I have my brand new smoker ready to go. I've got my bee suit and a couple of smoke pellets, which uh, I've never used before. Got a smoker all lit up, smoking away. This is my bee suit, guys. It's nice and white because I've really never used it before. But I do expect in the coming year, this will be a very dirty and used bee suit because I, I'm now officially a beekeeper. There's nothing like it on the planet, guys. Nothing else on the planet, no, no other insects on the planet, creates and produces food for humans. Now it was time to bring the beehive to its new home. I brought some cinder blocks back and laid them down because we needed to elevate the beehive. Next I took the beehive and I set it on top of the cinder blocks. And after I cut all the duct tape off the beehive, I fed them their sugar water and let them be for about three weeks. All right, so I'm going through one of my dumpsters here. I own a junk removal business. Some of you may know we have several, several dumpsters on the property and they're constantly getting filled up by people with all the stuff that comes out of their house and I get to take it home, go through it, and use what I want. I like to use reclaimed wood to build stuff, which is really cool because you don't have to pay for it. I actually get paid to remove this stuff, and then I can use the wood to build something that is of value to me. So I see these dressers in here, and I'm gonna try to use the wood on those dressers to build part of my beehive. Actually, I ended up using these bed frames that I found in the dumpster right next to those dressers. With the help of an experienced carpenter, my dad. We planned out the beehive and got to work. We started cutting, measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting, comparing, slicing, slicing more, tearing apart. So far we've been doing this for about an hour and a half and we're not even halfway complete. So it definitely takes a lot of time guys. Share the video with anybody you think might be interested. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I got lots of hard working, great content coming out this year. The next year I will not stop making videos for you guys my subscribers thank you so much let's get back to the build you get it we did a lot of work on this beehive we worked for several days in a row measuring cutting chopping gluing putting together and completing this beehive was a challenge and there is my new beehive built from a bed frame that I found in the garbage guys today I am going to find my queen and then I'm going to mark my queen and I'm gonna mark the queen by using this little contraption here. Basically, you put this over top of the queen and then you just close the little door there. And then this little um, cushiony thing, it slides down. And basically, it'll trap the queen right there so I can take my green marker and boop, put a little dot on her. So I'll be doing the split here in a couple of days. I just wanna open this up and put my um, mark on my queen so I know where she's at all, at all times. Marking the queen makes it easier to find her. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Wow. Okay guys, so 
It looks like we have a lot of brood right here, or maybe that's even honey. I'm not sure. Um, but I am looking out for the queen. So what I need to do is hold this here and kind of just scan it for the queen. So um, it's going to be pretty hard to find. There are a lot of bees here. Wow. So the plan here was to find the queen, mark the queen, and then split the hives into two different hives. And basically the old hive was going to uh, keep the original queen and the new hive is going to make a new queen. But unfortunately, as you saw me just there, I tried to fit the frame into the bottom of the new hive and it did not fit. And so I decided to grab a small frame and uh, put it in the top of the box and see if that fit. Let's see if this fits. No. Oh. But that was not going to stop me. I could easily fix that problem. So I continued to look for the queen. But then this happened. Wow, the bees are so amazing to watch, guys. Oh, I found the queen. I found the queen, guys. It's right there. It's right there. Look right there. That's the queen. Right there, you see her? Right there, that's the queen. Oh my gosh, okay, now I gotta capture her. All right, the queen is just running away from me right now. I'm trying to be very careful because I do not want to kill or hurt the queen at all. I got her, I got her, okay. Now I got a marker. Okay, so as you can see, the queen is crawling around in there. There's actually another bee in there too. But that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give my marker a good shake. And basically what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this sponge to kind of press her gently up against the uh, up against the plastic here. And then I'm going to mark her. So as you can see, she's right there. I'm gonna mark her on her body armor right there. Okay, here we go, queen. Stay still. Alright, the queen is officially marked, guys. Look at that. I caught and marked my queen. Yes! Yes. And I marked her with my favorite color, which is green. I'm going to go ahead and release her back into the hive. Oh my gosh, is that a record or what? <laughs> That's a newbie. I'm a newbie, guys. First two frames, I found the queen. I caught her. I marked her successfully. Didn't get any green on her eyes or anything. So I did it literally just like textbook right there. I'm so, so happy. Uh, I hope you guys are happy too. So that was it. That was the goal of today. I'm going to go ahead and put this hive back together. And uh, I'm going to have to figure out a different solution to split the hive since those frames will not fit in the hive that I built. And my solution was good old Amazon, baby. I ordered this custom or not so custom beehive called the bee castle off of amazon it cost me about 150 bucks i went live on youtube building this it took about an hour and a half and if you want to see that click the link up in the top right hand corner of this video and check out that full live of me building the beehive so this was my solution to go ahead and split the hive as soon as possible because my bees were getting crowded in their original beehive well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have the original beehive, which you can see is thriving and, uh, yeah, being pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, and over here on the other side of my fenced-in area, I have another smaller fenced-in area. And this is the new beehive, completely split. What I did is basically I took four of the brood frames out of the bottom of the old box and put them in here. And then it has a bunch of new frames for them to build out and this new beehive. The top box, I did the same thing. I took four frames of honey in and put it in the top. As you can see, the bees are flying in and out and doing their thing. So this is gonna be a happy beehive. In about two or three weeks, they should produce a brand new queen for their hive. And maybe in a couple of months, I can split it again and make a third beehive. Don't think I forgot about my custom built box from garbage, guys. Just because the frames did not fit does not mean I give up. What I'm doing is building custom frames for this box. So this will be the top of the frame, which pulls the frame 
out and puts it back in. So these wax sheets right here will be going in the slits right there. It will fit in there just like that. And I have to cut these down to size, but these are beeswax, 100% beeswax. And as you can see, the honeycombs are already perfectly shaped out, which helps the bees make a very uniform hive. So this and that will be done in the next couple of weeks and I will update you in the next video on my custom build hive. I'm doing my best to raise $100,000 to help save the bees and other pollinators all around the world. I have a green button down below this video and you can donate to Xerces. Xerces is the world's largest nonprofit for helping the bees and pollinators all around the world. So if you can donate $1, $5, $10, it doesn't matter. Anything helps. Please hit that button down below. Donate now. And if you can't donate, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button because those are both free. And for every subscriber I gain during this video series, I'll be donating 10 cents. Which means if I get 10,000 subscribers during this series, I will be donating $1,000. If I get 20,000 subscribers, I'll be donating $2,000. So please guys, help me spread this video, help me spread awareness to help save the bees and help save our trees. This has been another episode of Team Bees with Mr. F.E. We'll see you next time.